So we've had a, a good morning talking to voters uh, here in Broadfield. Uh, people raising an awful lot of issues. One of the issues which is on the agenda again uh, is crime. And of course, uh, we had the Home Secretary in Crawley yesterday talking about drink spiking. But what he wasn't talking about uh, were the issues that the town has been facing in terms of shoplifting on his watch. What he wasn't talking about was the conviction rate in the town dropping uh, by two thirds. So we only got about 6.4% of people even being charged for crimes which are reported into the police. Uh, that simply cannot go on. It's very hard to persuade retailers like M&S that it's worth continuing to remain in areas where they're being heavily shoplifted. And the big part of that is not having a police force that's set up and a criminal justice system that's set up to deliver that kind of improvement. It's very clear that the government has taken a position which is weakening law and order within our society. And what we desperately need now is to change a number of those rules. And Labour has a whole range of proposals around how we do that to toughen up the system and make sure that the people who are committing crimes are facing the penalties of that while at the same time creating uh, thousands of additional frontline officer posts that are on the beat, actually trying to enforce those rules and not sat behind a desk, as we've seen with the current government. That is a critical thing for us uh, this year. Uh, obviously, it's Police and Crime Commission election this year, in, uh, in addition to the local elections and the general election, whenever that is, where you will have the chance to vote for the person who is running the police in the area. And if you think the police have been run as well as could be, possibly considered, and that everything is fine and dandy into the law and order, obviously, Katie Bourne would love your support. If you think it's time for a change, the only candidate in Sussex that has a chance of getting the Tories out is Labour's Paul Richards, so please give him your support.